So hello and welcome back to the wild again. I have made it to Dunbar, which is on the east, the southeast coast of Scotland. And I'm currently sat in this old ruins at Innerwick Castle. And it's beautiful, it's so nice. I love old ruined places. I find them so inspiring and just the textures and everything's just beautiful. <laughs> so I'm here in Dunbar because tomorrow I will be heading on a boat over to the Isle of May. Whole point is I'll be going there to see puffins. So that's the main thing. <laughs> I think we swing past Bass Rock, which is a famous rock with loads of seabirds on it, and then go over to the Isle of May to see puffins. I've just come from the southwest part of Scotland, where I was um, photographing wildlife photography in Kikubri. So then come over to the east side to go then see puffins. It's just, I'm, I can't wait. I'm just so happy right now. It's just fantastic. It really is. I try not to get tearful because I just feel so happy of everything I've seen. It's been amazing. I love wildlife. I love nature. And the last few days has just been the best. So yeah, I'm here. See puffins. Fingers crossed I'll see them. Anywho, I will crack on and I'll show you some footage of this beautiful castle ruins, which is Inuit Castle. And it's beautiful it's amazing and i will see you tomorrow bright and early ready for the isle of may and puffins bye Okay, I made it to the Isle of May, or as I've been told, May Island. And it's incredible. I've never been here before and it's just beautiful. There's puffins flying around everywhere. The sun just sat there and it's fantastic. Um, I've only got an hour and a half left, so I'm gonna try my best to scoot around get as much photos as I can. I'm gonna try and get some pictures of the puffins in these sea campions just down here. That's my plan anyway. Uh, yeah, so proper excited to be here. <laughs> Flip the page, give it some more, getting out of my way. I was hiding, bulletproof, forever waiting, then came you. I thought I was what I told I thought I was. I thought I was what I told I thought.
terms of equipment, what I've brought today, I've got the Fujifilm X-T5 and attached to it the 150 to 600 millimeter, which has been fantastic so far. I did have it attached to my H2S, which is on right now, um, but it's got really good burst mode and shutter speed. And I've got some fantastic shots of puffins mid flight and they look amazing. So I'm really chuffed with that, but I thought it's time to switch it up. I put it back on the X-T5. I'm gonna see how it goes and do some filming on the X-H2S. And that's it, that's all the equipment I brought. I brought my tripod for once. Uh, yeah, and I just really wanna get a shot of the puffins in the flowers. But yeah, they're just sat there and it's amazing. I love this place. Uh, so I won't waste any more time and I'll take you around and try and get some footage. I'm kind of running around like a headless chicken at the minute, trying to find the best angles and wasting time. Um, but I'm just going to calm and then just find something in a minute. Uh, but yeah, it's all going well, loving it. And I'll keep you posted. Uh, yeah, let's crack on. After wandering around the island for quite a bit, I went to Bishop's Cove, this beautiful spot on the island, and it is amazing. And I was watching the puffins with sand eels in their mouths, just messing about and just showing lovely behaviours towards one another. And I stayed here for quite some time. I got a bit distracted, but I'm glad I did because it was a really special place and I got some very lovely photos of the puffins. After some very magical time on the Isle of May, we headed towards Bass Rock, which holds one of the largest colonies of northern gannets in the world.
Okay, so I made it back from the Isle of May and Bass Rock. Both have been absolutely incredible. I saw puffins, loads of gulls, like different types of gulls, guillemots, razorbills, shags. Uh, what else did I see? I said shags really funny, so I went shags. <laughs> and on Bass Rock for the first time, I saw gannets, which was so beautiful. I've never seen them before and they were amazing. They looked like something out of Jurassic Park and so did the whole of Bass Rock. The way the gannets are all sat on it, they're all moving, it looks like an anthill. It was just amazing, it really, really was. In terms of my pictures, I am super happy. I did have some problems or run into some problems with both the X-H2S and the X-T5 with this lens. And I think the main reason was the filter, I think it caused a bit of dist distortion. Yeah, I got a bit of distortion, like it didn't focus, it looked blurred. So I think it was actually the filter um, that was on there caused that. So I don't know, it might have been. I know there is, it's meant to be, it's a thing. I don't know if that's what actually happened. Who knows? Uh, I hope it inspires you to get out to the Isle of May or just come to Dunbar in general because there's so much to see and it's wonderful. And yeah, I've loved it here and I love it by the beach. Uh, it's a beautiful place. <laughs> but keep an eye out in the future because I will be doing a discussion about the 150 to 600 millimeter and the X-T5 versus the X-H2S for wildlife photography because I've experienced a lot over the last week or so. Yeah, I think for me that's the biggest thing is that I've really enjoyed this time because it's just actually challenged me so much in my photography. And in the space of one week, I feel like I've learned so much more about my camera that I didn't know before. And I love that, it's been so good, it really has. Happy lady. <laughs> so on that note, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. I don't know what the next adventure is gonna be, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, but until next time, stay you, stay awesome, stay wild, stay free. And what we're gonna say, Eric? He's just too tired. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye. Anyway, I will show you some footage of the castle. Uh, it's Inuit Castle, definitely come here. I think it's a castle. I hope it's a castle. I've been calling it a castle. Let's have a look. I can't even see it on the map. Okay. If you come forward, because you're cute, you can go at the front. I've seen both May Island and Bass Rock and Eric. <laughs> Can't wait for it. I love being on a boat. There's something about it. I just, I feel like an adventurer. <laughs> it's so good. Hey, yeah. Let's <laughs> walk and give me a pass. I've on myself. You about the Fuji film. One second. In my bag somewhere here, I've got it. Here we go, I've got it. I've got it, folks. Can you see me, camera? Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Can you see me, can you see me? Good boy, Eric. You gotta wait. I can't get off of you there, bud. Good boy. Yeah. And until next time, you amazing people. Bye bye for now. <laughs> bye bye.